subscriber, please subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. I do a lot of handbag and designer videos along with some vlogging. I'm redoing a house right now, uh, which is really exciting. So if you want to kind of see that progress and what I'm doing here, please subscribe. Um, and let's just jump into the video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 handbag. I absolutely love this handbag. I've had it for probably about four or five years now. One reason I got this is because it is so big and I like to haul my whole life around with me. Um, but let's just kind of jump into it. So here it is up close. Um, it's this checkered brown and light brown pattern. It is just so gorgeous. And then some of the checkered's uh, little boxes have that Louis Vuitton Paris um, little logo in it. So I just love this pattern. I really do like the LV pattern too. Most of my Louis Vuitton bags are in that LV pattern, but I think it is fun to mix it up with this checkered pattern. I also went with the dark brown like chocolatey color for the handles. They have this color and then they have the more beige like almost the color of my shirt um, for the leather but I really liked this darker brown. Also another reason to get this darker brown is because it's not going to show a lot of the wear and tear. My other handbags if you get them wet or if your hands are greasy or something like that, it's going to leave a mark. And these, if you can tell, are like almost glossy and they just look so good, so new. I have this gold hardware on it. You can see, I believe it's on this side, yes, you have this little keypad. Um, this comes with actually a lot of the Louis Vuitton bags. It's just a little cute thing to have on there. So I will open it up now. Really great zipper, of course. And then on the inside, you have this red canvas color. If you can see in there. It is really gorgeous. I love the contrast of this red to the brown. I think it's really gorgeous. You have a little, almost like a little phone pouch inside. It's attached and it's pretty big. So you could probably fit a phone, a chapstick, maybe like a face mask for today's times in there. And then the rest of it, as you saw, is just very open. Besides, you have this D ring right here. What I like to do with this D ring is either attach your keys to it or what I'm just I love and I think it's just so much fun is to attach the Louis Vuitton key clay to it and then you can put like your cards or anything like that if you don't want to bring your whole wallet with you but I guess the reason why this bag is so amazing is because it can fit so much stuff and this canvas is so durable so I'm just gonna read it straight from the Louis Vuitton website right um, now to kind of give you the overview of why this bag was made and what they see it's for um so it says this is an elegant and compact handbag the ideal companion for city life i completely agree because you can fit like if like a pair of sneakers or something in here a pair of heels if you're running on and off the subway this is great because it's big and can fit so much stuff um, it was launched in 1930 as the Express and inspired by the era's rapid transit. So that's kind of fun why it's called the Speedy or the Express back then. Um, today's updated Speedy remains a timeless house icon with a singular silhouette. They all come like this. Um, rolled leather handles, which I commented on, and engraved signature padlock, which is on this side. Overall, I think that this bag is pretty amazing. You can use it as an everyday handbag. Uh, so putting it with a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, a blazer, and then this is really going to finish that off, that outfit off very nicely. 
or you can also dress this up or use it really as a little overnight bag I think that it is big enough to use as an overnight bag which is just so amazing this bag is so versatile and I think that you really also got that from the website I always recommend if you want to know about a Louis Vuitton bag go to the website it says a lot or look up some videos uh, some reviews on YouTube I also think that you get a lot of bang for your buck in this bag so this bag is around 1100 right now and the little Louis Vuitton crossbody bags so that you can fit almost nothing in is it ringing in at that same price so I think that this is just so much more versatile than those little crossbody bags it is so much bigger and you can do a lot more with it I've also seen people that have bought actually crossbody straps to go on this bag and I've worn it crossbody um, almost like a like a duffel bag type thing so I totally think that this is worth the price and is a great starter bag I would a hundred percent recommend so now I'm gonna go into the cons of this bag. So there are definitely more pros than cons, but a couple things with the cons is that it doesn't hold its shape. As you can see, I can almost just squish it down and there are no feet on the bottom. Um, this canvas is very durable, so that's not too much of a problem, problem. But when I'm going somewhere, I usually wanna have feet on the bottom of my bag. So when I put it down, it's not just sitting on the canvas. Um, also, when you store it, it can just kind of get a little kind of crumbled up. Um, so you obviously want to put uh, some like newspaper or something in it, probably not newspaper, um, but like something in it, tissue paper to keep its shape. Besides those two things, I think that this is a really amazing bag. You are definitely going to get your price per wear for this, so I highly recommend. I have a couple more Louis Vuitton handbag and Gucci handbag videos, so I will link those above if you want some other great recommendations or reviews on designer handbags. Um, that is it for me today though, so if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye everyone!